Hey, it's Dorian, a.k.a. your Flick Chick. I headed off to the Bangor Mall Cinemas to get us all prepped up for the 4th of July weekend and saw the brand new movie Terminator Genesis. This movie runs two hours. It is rated PG-13. It has some gunplay, some obviously uh, sci-fi violence, a little bit of nudity, and a tad of language. It stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, as always. New to the cast, though, Jason Clark, Jai Courtney, uh, Amelia Clark, and I love him, J.K. Simmons. It basically starts where all the other uh, Terminator movies start. They are in a war with the machines. John Connors is leading the way. He sends Kyle Reese back to protect his mother, uh, Sarah Connor, from being killed. Only difference is in this version, um, as Kyle is going back, he sees one of the machines grab John Connor. At that point, he starts having memories of a life that he never lived. And when he arrives on the scene, everything is different than he expected. Because very much like if you saw the reboot of Star Trek, where they said, okay, we can't make this exactly the same, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to shove us into an alternate timeline so we can give us all the familiar things that we love about the first movie, or in Star Trek's instance, the first series, but we're going to be able to meld our own story and put it all together the way we want to do it and make these characters what we want to make them. And that's very much what Terminator Genesis does as well. Now, it, really full of action. I saw it in 3D. It's available 3D and 2D, and I thought it had some good 3D effects. So if you can stomach 3D, this might be a good one to see that way. What it did have, and it may be because I missed something, because it moves incredibly fast. There was a lot of action. Uh, the cast played really well together. But at one point, I saw a few holes in their uh, scientific plot that I'm actually going to have to go back and watch it again to see if they were really there or if I just missed something. But I don't think I missed anything. I'm pretty good on my toes. So because of those plot holes, that's really the only thing that drew it back a little bit for me. I'm going to give uh, Terminator Genesis an 8. Now, if you would like to see everything that's playing at the Bangor Mall Cinemas or the trailer to the new Terminator movie, scroll down and don't forget to... Um, Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get all my Flick Chick reviews as soon as they come out. So have a great 4th of July, and until next week, I'm Dorian Daniels.